demo about setting up and using the stand that you've just ordered. What you're going to find when you undo the box, take it out, this slide is going to be put in upside down. It's just to save some room in the box. So, of course, pull your keeper pins, take the springs off, turn it upside down into this position. You're also going to find in there, in a little cellophane bag, was a couple of keepers. These are going to be used to hold the cannon in the stand so that it doesn't go flying out of the back when you load it up. Very important thing to know. Well, we're going to say that we're going to fire it, we're going to get it in position. So what we're going to do is we're ready to go. We're going to set the cannon in the stand. Let's say we want to lift up a little bit higher. We need to get a little more horizontal on it. So what we're going to do, take some pressure off of the cannon itself. This is going to help the wear and tear on this mechanism, especially the threads that are on the screw bar. You can turn it real quick, as you see. You can get this thing right up into position versus putting all the pressure on it and then slowly turning it by hand, trying to get it to go. So slide it up where you want it. It's going to go very rapidly. Now you think that's about it. Maybe that's it. We're going to now dial it in, turning it up or turning it down a little bit to get the fine-tuned position. One thing you want to always make sure is when you're loading, especially when you get around the 500 grains or better, you want to have these keepers on. What they're going to do for you is they're going to keep everything secured to the sled. Cannon's not going to fly off the end of the table, bounce around, damage something. Not the cannon, but who knows what else. Anyway, now we're ready to go. We've got the cannon mounted into the board with the front end secured. We're using the little scale on the back that you see on the cannon. That's in quarter inch increments. Make your initial V on the zero. Then as the cannon shoots and moves the stand around, you can always come back to point zero. You also might find at point zero, you were off a little bit. Now you want to move over a quarter of an inch. This is going to help you dial everything in quicker and now make this baby perform like it was designed to perform. You're going to dial it in. You're going to be hitting four by four squares of plywood at 100 yards, no time at all. Anyway, have fun. Enjoy it. Catch the next video. Thank you.